Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Sorry I'm getting this out to you late. I had a nice, lazy Sunday. Um, stayed in bed as much as I could. Uh, I had already gotten done with the previous arena, uh, like Friday. So I had all Sunday, all Saturday, and I'll have Monday morning as well to just relax. And um, I'm, I'm still doing, of course, uh, Alliance Quest is also on break right now. Uh, so the only thing is Alliance War, which is in the placement phase right now. So I'm just having myself a ball. Anyway, um, we've got Scarlet Witch, OG Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch Classic. And we've got Ant-Man Future. Now, Ant-Man Future looks pretty cool, but I don't really know that much about him. I don't know if he's somebody that... Um, I really, really want. We'll find out. Uh, I did not go for the uh, five star this time, but round two, that's when I usually go for the five star. That's what um, I'll be doing later this week. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these leaderboards. All right. So I got the 11 to 30%, which is what I went for here. And I will tell you why I got six to 10% instead of the 11 to 30% like normal when we get there. But let's take a look first at this leaderboard. And for those of you guys who may be new to the game, uh, you may not remember just how overpowered this champion was back in the day. But let's just say that those who had her as well as those who didn't, had to admit that she was game-breaking. And she was the epitome of a game-breaking champion. And they had to nerf her. I do not like nerfs. But I recognize that they are a reality of the game. You know, balance it out. And she was way over the top. Okay? I mean, she was able to stun lock her opponents, gain health, gain armors, gain poison them. I mean, she just had it all. It was insane. And she made it trivial, almost everything. And she was very difficult to be stopped. They had a node um, that they put in just to try to stop her because she would get all of these things on crit. So. They, I think it was called Dulled, D-U-L-L-E-D. And what it did was it reduced your crit down to almost nothing. But guess what? That affected everybody. And so it was much simpler to deal with her than to put in a node that affected everybody. But they learned their lesson and the state of the game now that is not an issue. They could, even if she was back the way she was, they could now, with the game the way it is, put in nodes to deal with her that didn't affect others. So even champions now that are OP, broken, or what have you, they are not the same danger to the game as she was at that time. The state of the game at that time couldn't handle her. Now, yeah, they can handle it. Um, there's no champion in the game right now that can't be dealt with without um, harming a ton of other people. Ace Fusion, congratulations. Sniper Tech from my old alliance, congratulations. Let me see. I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. Leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up in your ranking. But I did catch those two. All right. Now, let us see which summoner is 101. Volvo Gil. I'm sorry. You have my condolences. Nobody wants to be 101. But someone is always 101. But anyway, 
Um, congrats to everybody that got themselves the OG Scarlet Witch. She's not what she used to be by any means. Um, they did nerf her, <clears throat> and the game has evolved. So, yeah, she is nowhere near as powerful as she used to be. But a lot of people would want her just for the um, nostalgia. You know, we didn't think we were going to get a six star um, Scarlet Witch. And for a while, they were saying, no, we've tested her out. Is that Diggity? Dig? No, that's not Diggity. Dig. Um, we tested her out and she's still too powerful to bring in as a six star. That is a statement they made, but you see her now. Why is that? Because the game has evolved and it can handle that now. Uh, I remember when Corvus was considered so game breaking and everything, they put in a node to handle that real quick. You know, you remember in the uh, variant, if you weren't a hero, <laughs> you were getting stripped down. You getting killed. It didn't matter. Immortality, whatever. Nope. Didn't matter. So they can they have way more tools now at their disposal than they did when Scarlet Witch was first in the game. And that was as a four star, by the way. Not even a five star. That was the four star Scarlet Witch that we were talking about. All right. Here we go. So you can see the score that I put up. This happens when the um, Arena Wins event comes, and I've already finished all of my arena. Remember I said I finished it all the way, like Friday? So then here comes the uh, Arena Wins, and I'm like, um, okay. ID Slim, congratulations, man. Wait, did you just get into that alliance? For some reason, I thought I saw your name and you didn't have an alliance. Maybe you were switching alliances at the time. But if you see this, let me know. I'm just curious. Uh, but anyway, that is what happened. Arena wins hit and I'm like, you know what? I'll be able to get the you know, units out of the arena wins faster just doing six stars in here. So that's what I did. Um, didn't take me too much. As you can see, it wasn't that much over what I usually put up. Um, at least not uh, for me. And uh, in fact, I think I, yeah, I waited until my, my six stars were off cooldown. So I ended up just running my, um, my rank five and my rank fours and my rank threes. I didn't go anything below that. 420 flips. Why does that sound familiar? I wonder if we've seen each other in, in a different alliance, maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, man. On this six star. And like I said, I don't know. I don't know uh, how good this champion is. Messiah. Congratulations. But I will um, pick up the five star at least. I am not going for any six stars anytime soon in this arena. All right, Hawaiian Love, you are the last one to get a six star in round one, anyway, uh, of Ant Man Future. So now let us see who is the summoner who has achieved the coveted spot of 101. Spade! I know you're probably not very happy. And I don't blame you. So close, and yet so far. Ooh, Jenser M. All you guys right here, I know you're mad. Because really, it don't matter whether you're a 101 or 110. You got close. Ooh, angry elephant, you are angry. You got close, but close don't count. 
You're getting that same five star. Colty. I don't know if you uh, were going for the five star, but congratulations. That's what I'll be going for. And I probably won't even make it to the um, the leaderboard. There goes a lemon. Fat skadoosh, Bratan. See anybody else? Time to shine. You know, this is a new champion, so I don't blame uh, folks for just going for the five star. That's all I want. Mainly because I'm a collector. Doesn't matter if they're bad or good. I just want them in my roster. In fact, I think the only five star I don't currently have um, that is available in the crystals is um, Electro. Grimlock! I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. I'll have to look um, later on, but I believe he's the only one. And I believe he's in the basics now, but I still haven't been able to uh, pick him up yet. Okay. Most of the time when I open up five stars, it's just mainly for um, the ISO. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.